Department of Technical and Technology Education under the College of Science and Technology of USDP presents to you the Doctor of Technology Education, a non-parallel postgraduate program that has produced a number of high-caliber graduates who themselves are trailblazers in academic, industry, and in entrepreneurship. The Doctor of Technology Education program is designed to provide highly advanced trainings and research to produce specialized technical and technology leaders and consultants in the basic and higher education institutions, event, and industries. It also aims to produce leaders for innovation and researcher in technology education. The DTE program able to produce higher-up graduates who are now a holder of higher level of positions in various government as well as private agencies. Dr. Edward IV Sr. Owner, BMC Training Center for Welding and Fabrication. Regional awardee for self-employed category. President Ramon Magsaysay Outstanding Filipino Workers Award. First National Galing Pinoy Awardee. Recipient of the National Individual Awards, Meritorious Service Award. Dr. Rosario Lindon H. Roble, Professor 6 in Mechanical Engineering and the Vice President of Administration, University of Southeastern Philippines. President Service Awardee. Received various awards and citations from USEP PSMP. Dr. Lorenzo G. Makapili, Regional Director of Technical and Skills Development Authority. Region 11, Outstanding Member of Institute of Integrated Electrical Engineers of the Philippines. Doctor in Technology Education graduates able to produce different innovations for community development, like the innovations for healthcare services of Dr. Edward Dampour Senior. I'm Greg Edward Ridulia. I'm the uh, Inge uh, department Director, I'm the Director of the Engineering Department sa hospital. So, isang mga pinakadakong faktong na nakatabang sa mga is ma-eliminate na mo ang contamination sa oxygen since ang tanki is made of mild steel. So, ngayon tabo ka ron, introduce na ni Doc Dom for ang PSE system in which ang atong piping ang gidigamit dili black iron or milestar or, or kining galvanized iron. Ang gigamit na ito din na is copper, brass, and uh, stainless. So, which is na-eliminate ni Doc ang rest sa rust. So, mga siyang pinakadako ang contribution niya. Na-eliminate niya ang itong mga pag-mobile na ito, transport sa itong mga cylinders. Dako so, Jud, actually Dako Jud ang pinakabang si Dok pag introduce niya ng uh, system. Also, graduates of this program able to land a job as a professor here and abroad. The skills and competency that I have uh, derived from the doctorate in technology education, uh, uh, it developed my, my professional uh, well-being. Uh, when I went to uh, Ethiopia, working with uh, the Debre Marcos University and uh, with the DTE program, it, it really honed my, my professional uh, well-being to be more, more resilient, not only in the, the Philippine standard of education, but also in the European as a, as a, as a doctor itself. Uh, you, you should not uh, refuse uh, whatever it is that is being assigned to you. And uh, as a doctor, you, also, you should also, and as a professional, uh, you should also exercise and uh, execute uh, the expected quality education. But the DTE program of the university is, I, I say that it is a, a, global, a, a globally uh, competitive uh, doctoral program because uh, the professors of the DTE program are not just locally uh, honed professor, but uh, majority of the professor of the DTA program graduated from abroad. Your subject that has to be uh, handled. The Doctor of Technology Education was first offered in academic year 1993-1994. After 14 years, that is in 2007, the Commission on Higher Education issued the Memorandum Number 53 series of 2007 
which provided the policies and standards for graduate programs. Twelve years after, in 2019, the CHED issued the Memorandum No. 15, Series of 2019, which specified the upgradation of requirements for graduate studies. In response to meet the enhanced competencies set by globalization, regional integration, and internationalization of higher education, the DTE program went through a rigorous DECUM process. Therefore, in 2020, the new and enhanced DTE program was introduced. The DTE program objectives and the DTE program educational objectives are aligned with the university's vision, mission, and graduate attributes towards the goal of producing graduates who possess the necessary knowledge and skills for the DTE expected occupations. Dr. Ruth G. Cabajo is also one of our DTE graduates. She is the former Chancellor of USTP CDO campus. Our current Vice Chancellor for Academic and Student Affairs finished the degree in 2005. He is Dr. Alino Henes L. San Diego. One of the Senior Education Specialists in DepEd Zamboanga is Dr. Lito Pancho Bahian, the Director of Business Enterprise of USTP CDO campus is Dr. Sofia Sina Elga. In order to fully equip the DTE students as they are envisioned by the program, the university provides state-of-the-art library and laboratories. With these facilities, the students benefit quality information that augment them to do research and innovation. USTEP is our platform for integrated and innovative approach to flexible teaching and learning combining the 21st century educational framework, academic policies, learning management systems, and other tools. The department is equipped with high-caliber world-class professors who are committed to shape the DTE graduates. The university has religiously sending faculty scholars to the top 1,000 universities in the world. Just recently, Dr. Sara Namoko, a DTE faculty member, has timely finished her Doctor of Education at the University Science Malaysia, which ranked 142 in QS Global World Ranking. She was sent to USM in February 2017, successfully defended her doctoral thesis in November 2019, and reported back to the station by February 27, 2020, as program in her scholarship with the university. In order for more faculty scholars to enjoy scholarship grants, the university has proposed a five-year development plan for 2021-2025 with a budget of 137 million pesos for the institutionally funded scholarship, including the estimated additional cost for the substitute faculty. Despite of COVID-19 pandemic, the DTE faculty members are actively attended webinars for learning continuity. Among the webinars attended is the design thinking, which equips the faculty members to develop better strategies and decision-making skills. The webinar on facilitating assessments rekindles the assessment skills of the faculty members both in traditional and authentic evaluation. With well-established faculty members, DTE students were able to present researches in international conferences. Dr. Sophia Sina Elgar presented her paper in Yokohama, Japan. She received an excellence award for the paper that she presented. Dr. Saturnina P. Aberin, a DTTE faculty, and Fernando T. Capilitan Jr., a DTE student, presented their paper in Tokyo, Japan for the International Conference on Social Science, Arts, Business, and Education last November 11, 2019. Efficient, responsive, relevant, innovative. These are the cornerstones that encapsulates the DTE's outstanding research programs. With constant discernment on the national agenda for poverty alleviation, the Millennium Development Goals 2030, and the Duterte Administration's national agenda on eliminating poverty and hunger, the DTE research boosts its numerous feats of international publications in ISI index journals. In order to mold the DTE students to be a researcher and innovator holistically, they are not only trained inside the classroom, 
but they are also provided an avenue to enhance their research skills through university-wide research summit. To shed light as to the trends in research in the areas of education, TVET, and technology, a forum with the TESLA was conducted by the Department of Undergraduate and Postgraduate Students. The invited speakers were researchers and provincial directors of TESLA in Region 10. The university had issued the policy and guidelines on giving of incentives for research publication. Cash incentives range from 10,000 pesos to 62,500 pesos per publication. Also, faculty members are entitled to receive travel and registration allowance amounting to 15,000 to 40,000 pesos per presentation. This strategy is used to encourage faculty to come up with more publications in ISI, Scopus, and CHED recognized journals and international referred journals. Both the faculty members and the DTE students spearheaded various significant extension projects which are either research-based or community-driven. Some of these extension projects are already completed, while most are still ongoing. Furthermore, the projects are conceptualized by the DTE faculty members and students and are implemented in cooperation with the local government units and partner government and non-government agencies. The monitoring and evaluation are also conducted hand-in-hand -hand with the partner local barangays. One of the extension projects that the department started recently is the research capability training for the Department of Education teachers of El Salvador City Division. For the first time in the extension history of USTP, we have invited two world-class researchers in the field of action research, Professor Nordin Abdul Razak and Professor Thien Lei Mi, both coming from the University Science Malaysia. These two professors are the research mentors of the DTTE chairperson during her study at USM. The El Salvador Division of the Department of Education Region 10 expressed their gratitude to USTP CSTA Department of Technical and Technology Education for conducting the capability training on research in the new normal. DepEd El Salvador is very pleased with the outcome of the training and hopeful that through such extension services provided by the university, more DepEd teachers will be inspired and guided to publish more research outputs. The plaque was received by Dr. Sara Namoko, Chair of DTT Ed, the Dean of CSTE, Dr. Laila Lumibao, and the Director for Extension and Community Relations, Dr. Maria Teresa M. Fajardo. Finally, the most recent extension project which the department, through its department chair and DTE students have jointly endeavored, is in collaboration with the School Governance Office of the Department of Education, Division of Kamigin. The said project is qualitative research capability training. The project aims to equip the DepEd administrators with knowledge and skills in qualitative research. Everybody of us here, the seven-point agenda dynamic. Uh, yes, uh, when I assume office, uh, I introduce the seven-point agenda as our guide in running this uh, university. And it's an acronym, dynamic. Anchored on the seven-point agenda, coined as dynamic, the university was able to determine the seven strategic directional areas and goals, which allows the university to focus its priorities in addressing its immediate and long-term needs with respect to the three development phases towards Vision 2030, laying down the foundations, strengthening the science and technology, academic, economy, ecology, and attaining international recognition as a science and technology university. The University of Science and Technology of Southern Philippines continues to uphold its vision to be a nationally recognized science and technology university providing the vital link between education and the economy. It remains steadfast in providing its primary clients with excellent and continually improved quality human resources, relevant and responsive programs and services. The Department of Technical and Technology Education, with its Doctor of Technology Education program, will also continue to uphold the vision, mission, 
goals of the university through a comprehensive curricula offering that is designed to provide highly advanced training and research to produce specialized technical and technology leaders and consultants in the basic and higher education institutions, TVE, and industries, aiming to produce leaders for innovation and research in technology education. Thank you very much!